Hello everyone, how are you doing today? You are all welcome to my channel, Apostle Paul Taiwo YouTube channel, to my recent subscribers I want to say a very big thank you, and to those that have been here all along, God bless you. And if this is your first time on this channel, I want to say a very big welcome and thank you for tuning into my video today. Kindly endeavor to click the subscription button and also the notification icon so that you can be notified whenever I dropped a new video or come up for prayers. This video you are about to listen to I believe will bless your heart, and help you to come into repentance, and also strengthen your bond with God and with His Holy Spirit in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. Endeavor to like this video, share it to all your friends, contacts and loved ones, God bless you. Testimony of a former Freemason and Spiritist Witch Doctor This testimony was given during a church service in Brazil. My name is Pastor Francisco Vieira the ex-wizard of the Xuxa. My street name is Tio Chico. I lived in Brazil for 36 years. But I'm not a natural son of the federal district, I'm a son of the state of Sira. I was invited and became a Freemason. My own father is Master Grade Master 33 of the state of Sira Freemasonry. It's already 17 years since I left. Becoming a Freemason requires several requirements. We signed a confidentiality clause, so we cannot go out or reveal what's going on inside that circle. That's how I lost my daughter. They took my daughter as a punishment. My daughter was 12 years old then. They kidnapped her and took her to the woods. They abused my daughter, they shot her with two bullets at the forehead. Then they called me to say, Pastor, we order the murder of your daughter, so that you shut up, you betrayed us. Spiritism has anyone here in the church had the misfortune to rub shoulders with or practice spiritualism? Mercy. It's really bad. I will make it brief because my full testimony will stretch to 11 hours. I will try to shorten it. The pastor will make a prayer, if the devil is present he will fall on his knees by the grace of God, hallelujah God is faithful. Beloved, it was my father who introduced me to Freemasonry. I stayed there for a while and at the beginning, I did five evil initiations. After that, I rose very quickly in rank because my father directed me, my own father taught me. In spiritualism, the devil is a saint and in Freemasonry, he arrives as the Lord of Armies. After a few months, after a while, I reached grade 30. I entered the rank where neither the women of the Freemasons nor the new members enter but only the leaders and the first thing I saw in this room was a goat. Have you ever heard that in Freemasonry there was a goat? Many Freemasons say it's wrong, but there's a goat. There are cults, there are rooms where even your wife cannot enter, there are many secrets, several closed doors. Beloved, at this place, begins the ritual of black magic, the goat is incorporated, incarnated by the spirit of the devil, by Lucifer, Beelzebub, the prince of darkness. The animal started to look exactly like someone who is possessed. Initiation one of the senior officers came to me to tell me that I had to kneel before the goat and worship him. I bent my knees and kissed the animal's head. And when I finished, I said, Lord of Armies, at this moment I'm putting my soul in your hands. I gave my full name and it was written in a book that had a black cover. I give you the soul of my daughter. Every Freemason gives his eldest son or eldest daughter. The children of the Freemasons die only by tragedy, accidents, incurable diseases. When my oldest daughter was two years old, she was killed with a dagger in her heart. I'm not going to tell how it happened, I'm going to cry I cannot do it. The devil used her own father to sacrifice her. So I killed, sacrificed my own daughter, with a knife in her heart. I am on parole, I have 23 trials on my back right now because of the crimes I committed. Today I walk with Jesus Christ. I also gave the soul of my mother and my wife and made a covenant with him. From my right arm, 15 milliliters of blood was taken and was injected into the goat. 15 milliliters of blood was taken from the animal that was injected into my left arm. In the past I had in my body the blood of the goat, today I have the blood of Jesus. Amen. When the blood of the goat ran through my veins, I was in this Masonic lodge, it was 22 hours past everything became black. My whole body began to heat up, to burn, I had the impression that my scalp was torn off and all my bones were broken. I was in a critical state, in a chaotic situation. 
When I turned to leave, because I could not stand this bad thing in me that hurt me, I was paralyzed like a statue. It burned me, I hurt, I closed my eyes and when I opened them again, I could not see anything, not even the candles that were there. I was in complete darkness, I was already in darkness. Lucifer materialized in flesh and bone. He wore a suit, a tie, a violet band at the waist. Blonde, blue-eyed he took on the appearance of an ordinary man. He put his left hand on my shoulder and spoke in tongues. He said to me, my faithful servant, humble yourself before your Lord. I knelt, I kissed his feet and getting up, I kissed his hands. On my right, at a distance of three meters, there was a kind of male doll. This doll represented Jesus, with long hair, mustache, and beard. The devil told me, go to Jesus and curse your old God, your false prophet, whom I crucified. I approached the doll and said these words, false prophet, you said you came to earth to save, heal and liberate, you are a liar. The churches proclaim your name but the people beg their bread, that's why you were crucified, I spit in your face, and I spit. I kicked this doll during this performance and everyone applauded and there was a party. In the Masonic Lodge, there is also the Lord's Supper. Only the leaders participate, from grade 30 to 33. After 22 hours, begins the ritual of dark magic on the last Friday of each month. From the goat possessed by the demon, we take 20 milliliters of blood that is put in the middle of the supper in a human skull with ether so that the blood does not coagulate. They all approach with a piece of bread and lifting up that bread towards heaven, they say, I crucify you again and they all eat that bread soaked in the blood of the goat. The Life of Abundance The cursed of hell, Satan, offered me two mansions, 12 apartments in Brasilia, two country houses, a fazenda, big farm, four companies. I was doing service to public bodies, the Chamber of Deputies, the Senate, the Congress, the Courthouse, the Central Bank of Brazil. I was Chief of Staff at the Central Bank. I held high positions for eight years. Satan gave me a limousine, a Ferrari, a Mercedes-Benz, and a BMW. When I was in the office, I do not count the number of times my wife called me to say I want to lunch in Miami, I want to go to Tokyo, I want to know all of Brazil, I want to know the whole world. From Brazil, we have known all capitals, all states. My life was a party, my life was dedicated to pleasure, my life was dedicated to evil. How many times did I get home with $400,000 or $500,000 that I threw on the bed and had fun telling my wife that we filled our pillows not with foam or feathers but with cash? But when I slept, I did not have peace of mind, I was not calm. I did not have peace because Satan had turned me into a thief, a white collar thief. I was not the kind of thief to pick up a gun and attack people on the street, no, I was stealing inside the bank. At the end of the week, when I worked at the central bank, I took all the investments, I left a small amount in the accounts in Brasilia. I transferred all the money into my own account and I placed them on the weekend, system overnight. On Monday I returned this money and nothing in investment interest I had between 1.5 million to 2 million cruzeros, that I sent in accounts in Switzerland. Currently, I have a trial with the federal police, military and civilian in Brasilia. I was considered the greatest fraudster of that time but everything was fine as long as the devil was protecting me. He also turned me into a drug dealer, Commando Vermelho, Red Commando. I was trading between Brasilia and Goiânia. I knew the biggest traffickers and I still had many weapons on me. I myself have been a consumer, I have consumed several types of drugs, I have overdosed. Once I was so possessed, so desperate by the drugs that I went to the pharmacy to buy ether, I took the essence of my car, I injected that and I went crazy. The firefighters attached me to the post in the center of Brasilia and I still managed to free myself. I had a BMW as I told you, I was doing magic rituals in my car, I went to Angola to practice magic. I did not like Umbanda, Kimbanda or Condomblé, they are mystical religions, for me they were all weak. I loved voodoo, witchcraft fetishes, I loved what could kill right away. In my car in red letters was written Throne of Satan. I was a Pai de Santo, sort of marabou. I was a homosexual Pai de Santo because all Pai de Santo are homosexuals. For six months I was a man as you see me here, and during the other six months, 
I was possessed, I went out at night in a short skirt, lipstick etc. Mercy. By the grace of God. The second pact. It took place in Salvador in the state of Bahia with a May de Santo, Marabou woman. I was not the only one. The purpose of this pact in Salvador was to get all the women I would like. The devil is a liar, he came to kill, steal and destroy. The maid de Santo shaved my head 21 times. The last time she shaved me, she traced me in the form of a cross. Then I was put in a rancor, dark room, where I stayed seven days and seven nights lying on top of two banana leaves. There were big candles in this place and I was fed with animal blood and cachaça, Brazilian brandy, made from sugarcane juice, distilled at 40 degrees, without having the right to go to the toilet or to perform the physiological necessities. I had to restrain myself. The first night, the maid de Santo brings a Zana, big wild rat. She slaughtered it and I drink all the blood. Then it was a goat, a dog, a rabbit, a kid, etc. The most absurd of all this is that despite all these scandals, the authorities do not take any action. I'll tell you what I'm talking about. The last night, she sacrificed a child of three months. It is not disclosed to the authorities but it's legal. It's legalized by the status of the Spiritist Federation. Human beings were sacrificed as if they were animals. The authorities do not take action because 90% of our great entrepreneurs and politicians are part of this mafia of Satan. I have been the Pai de Santo of Maluf, Orestes Quercia, Lula, Shusha, etc. and 68 big companies. I know who ordered the murder of my daughter. When I get up on the last day, the maid de Santo makes a cut in my right thigh, shaped like a cross. She took my private part, and with a knife, she began to write letters while cutting me and formed the name Lucifer. After that my life has deteriorated. I had all the women I wanted but I lost mine. I stayed eight months out of my home. I lived in my fazenda, I cohabited with something else, eight months doing what is totally anti-biblical. I walked with her, she accompanied me everywhere, I kissed her, I made love with her, she was everywhere with me, in my car etc. I even took her on a trip to Brasilia. Dear friends, Deuteronomy 27:21 says, Cursed is he who sleeps with any beast. The devil made me fall in love with a dog and I lived for eight months with a dog that I raised in my fazenda. My life went from bad to worse. I was going to work with corpses at midnight in the cemeteries. I fed on their viscera. A girl had died on the fourth day at midnight, I went to the cemetery, I desecrated her grave, to do my rituals. When I approached a tomb belonging to a servant of God, a ball of fire rolling at high speed appeared and materialized in a giant bat of 1.5 meters to 2 meters, which shouted, you cannot touch it, it does not belong to you. But when it was the bodies of others, socialites, people with sinful lives and mores, I could quietly remove the coffin and approach the rotting bodies. So I was incorporated by the demon Caboclo Boyadero. And I had a hand-to-hand -hand contact with the corpse, I cohabit with the corpse. And by the demon, I ate the parts of the corpse, which were already rotten. I sunk into the practice of evil. I also performed 15 abortions in the Spiritist Center. I practiced abortion on two Christian girls. These girls went out with boys from the world, their parents, their brothers and their pastors tried to call them to order, but they did not listen. They said they would succeed in converting them and taking them to church. That's wrong, the Bible warns us about it, and I can tell you, it's easier to get people out of your church than to bring people back. The devil is smart, he is strong. Do not have fun with it, stay in your church, praise the Lord, seek the Lord. There is no saying the devil is on my way if he is on your road chase it. Jesus gave you authority. You must not dwell on these things, look ahead and follow your path. One of these girls looked for me. I had a huge table of three meters in my center. At the time I had this center of witchcraft where I received people, the poor could not come. I only worked for the elite, Shusha, the president of Fiat in Brazil, almost all the politicians of Brasilia, Sarni, Antonio Carlos Magalides, who was one of the greatest eaters of corpses. He was a doctor, entrepreneur, and several times governor of Bahia. These are the people who sponsored the murder of my daughter. 
To return to the Christian girl who wanted to have an abortion, I covered the large table with a white cloth. On the left side of the girl, I lit a black candle for Eshu. On her right a red candle for Pambojira, demonic entity. At the level of her left foot, a green candle for the entities of the virgin forest, at the level of her right foot a white candle for her guardian angel. Those who practice spiritualism have often had to be washed in dirty water, black water that smells very bad, worse than a skeptical pit. The devil made me drink this water and wash in that water. This young woman lying on this table, a wizard aide came to wash her body with this water, going from the neck to the feet. Then we put her in a sitting position and we made her drink that water. This water is rotten because it is made in a clay vase containing cachaça, liquor, see above, coarse salt, animal fat, pedra de arwanda azida de dend, palm oil, some herbs, urine, and droppings from pie de santo. When the girl was back on the table, I approached her, already incorporated by the spirit of Pambajara, my right hand resting on her belly, I patted her left hand on the right hand. So I removed the fetus from her belly and I raised her hand above, to the sky. And I then ingested this fetus. Incorporated with this spirit, I swallowed a total of 15. One day I went to my father's house, there was nobody. Just my little sister who was only 13 years old. I asked where the parents had been, she told me they went shopping. Suddenly, between her and me, I see Satan materializing, entering and speaking to me, she did not see him, but I saw him. He points to my sister saying, this woman was your wife in the past reincarnation and she was not happy because she did not have a child with you. To be happy in this present reincarnation, she must have a child by you. My dear brothers and sisters, reincarnation does not exist. God tells us that it belongs to man to die only once, it is reserved for the man to die only once after which judgment comes. Hebrews 9.27 The devil is the father of lies. He spoke to me and I believed him. Then he came into me, and today my sister has a child of mine. This child is the same age as my oldest son. There are members of my family who do not talk to me anymore because of that. So I sacrificed my two-year-old daughter to Freemasonry. I rammed my little sister, and I shot three times on my eight-year-old son because the devil told me that as an adult, he would kill me. That day I was alone in my room, my son, he was watching TV, and the devil appeared to me, he told me, go kill this child, if you do not do it, when he will be a young man he will kill you. I took the weapon in the drawer, I went to my son who was watching television, and I said Luis. When he looked at me he saw the weapon, he fled to a corner of the room he put his hands on his face and he started to cry. I aimed towards the stomach, the balls went out on the other side. When he collapsed, another demon came into me. I took a dagger and I opened my son's neck to the belly. My brothers, this child is not dead thanks to God. He stayed four months in the hospital, he was under the threat of death. I still spend a lot of money for the care. He is not dead, he has recovered. He became a rebel, he was afraid of me as father, afraid of society, he was afraid of the whole world. He remained locked in a room for 10 years. He spent all his days in this room, from breakfast to dinner. When he was brought something, he asked who brought it? Or is it from the thing? He called me the thing. The housekeeper said that I was out when I was only in another room, so he opened the door, took what he had to take and closed it immediately. In order for him to go to school, I had to get out of the house, so he clung to the housekeeper's necks that took him to the school bus. In the same way, when he came home, I did not have to be there. Today he is 20 years old, he lives with his grandmother. He shouts my name and makes plans to get revenge on me. When I call Brasilia, where he lives with his grandmother, when he recognizes my voice on the phone, he hangs up. This testimony will continue in the next episode. Grace be with you all that have Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, Amen. Bye for now. Hello everyone thank you for watching our video for today, I trust it blesses your heart. Endeavor to like this video and share it to your loved ones, I pray the grace of the living God will continue to rest upon you and upon everything that pertains to you in the name of Jesus, Amen. 
If you have any question or comments kindly drop them in the comment section, God bless you. See you in our next video and have a lovely day, bye for now.